morning, Pinal County. I'm Rafida Carella, and this is Your News in 90, sponsored by Jones Ford Buick GMC, your hometown dealer for more than 50 years. There will be no contested races for the office of the Cass Grand Mayor or City Council seats. Monday marked the final day for candidates to submit their nomination papers. The newest candidate to announce his bid for a position on council is local educator Jeff Lavender. He is one of three candidates seeking to fill three seats on the council. Find out all the information you need to know about all the candidates by logging into Pinal Central. Pinal County public health officials say a petition filed by Pinal County mayors and other government officials seeking a breakdown of COVID-19 cases by zip code likely won't give them the answers they are seeking. Not enough tests are being done to determine if one city or portion of the county has more cases than others, they said. Health officials recommend that the public act as if the virus is present in all communities and follow the guidelines outlined by the U.S. Center for Disease Control. And despite concerns from experts and top business officials about the far-reaching effects of social distinct distancing practices on the U.S. economy, local economies seem to be chugging along at a steady pace. That was the observation made by officials from the city of Coolidge, who revealed that construction on a number of key projects, including one of the community's largest apartment complexes, are still underway. Read the full story only at Pinal Central. Mildly warm weather and a slight chance of rain are in the forecast for your Wednesday. Highs for today will be in the low 80s before temperatures drop to the upper 40s in the evening. Expect partly cloudy skies during the night that may even bring evening showers and mild winds. That's it for this edition of Your News in 90. Be sure to check out these and many more stories by logging into PinalCentral.com. And this is again on Friday for more of your local news.